Well, the past two weeks have seen an uptick in an especially frightening and dangerous crime in one Oakland County community. Rod Maloney has the story tonight about two armed robbers and what they've been after in Farmington Hills. It's the kind of stuff that's not supposed to happen in towns like Farmington Hills. Crashing down doors in the middle of the night, holding a gun on you to get your valuables. November 29th, the Citation Club Apartments all 13 Mile. Then again the next night, overnight, at the Rollcrest Apartments off of 12 Mile, and then overnight Sunday night, Monday morning, at the Timber Ridge Court Apartments. Two thieves, knowing precisely what they're looking for, made their move on a woman living alone here. Farmington Hills Police Commander Michael Shiramataro. The people are breaking into homes at night while people are home sleeping. That is, that is just, that is something as a police agency in a community. That, that puts a community in fear. And we want to assure our residents that we are investigating this thoroughly. They're getting into secured hallways and then blasting down the interior doors while people sleep. The thieves described as African American, one five foot eight inches tall, the other five foot 11 inches tall, both of medium build, brandishing a silver handgun, demanding purses and jewelry. It's possible that the thieves are either watching purchases or know these victims and specifically are asking for the items. The commander says it's nice to have flashy jewelry, but it's best to be discreet. If you have these things, it's nice to show them to friends and family and when we're maybe out and about, but always be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of what's on display, what you might be wearing, what you might be displaying if you carry a, a beautiful purse or if you have a high-end jewelry. The only good news in this very frightening story is that no one has been hurt, mainly because they've given up the items as demanded. Farmington Hills Police are going to be doing extra patrols on the overnight shift to try and catch these guys, but they are also reaching out to other communities, other police departments to see if they're seeing this kind of break-in robbery as well. And if you know anything, they want to hear from you. In Farmington Hills, Rod Maloney, Local 4. And one more note here, Farmington Hills Police say after that third break-in, they do now have a vehicle description. The two men are reportedly driving a 2008 or 2009 dark-colored Chevy Malibu.